Hi guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com and welcome back to another Q&A lesson. Today we're going to be answering a question by Ishmael who asks what advantages do a Panasonic 18650 PF cell have over a Samsung 26F cell? This is a great question and I'm going to show you how to figure this out yourself not just for these two cells but for any cells. Now to start let's just look at a background on the two cells in the question. Now the Samsung 26F cell is known as being something of a um, cheaper, you know, less powerful cell. It's still good quality, it's just less expensive and it's not known to be very powerful. The Panasonic PF cell is known as being a good compromise between decently high power but also fairly high capacity. Because of that though, it's a little bit more expensive. All right, now to compare these cells, we need to start looking at their specs. Now these are both lithium ion cells, so they're both rated for about 3.7 volts nominal. The 26F cell has a capacity of 2.6 amp hours, and the PF cell has a higher capacity of 2.9 amp hours. The 26F cell is only rated for about 5 amps continuous, while the PF cell is rated for about 10 amps continuous of discharge current. Now those specs are going to become important when we build our pack. Now let's look at building that battery pack from Ishmael's question. You'll remember, he wanted to build a 10 amp hour pack for a 26 amp controller. Now, we can't build exactly a 10 amp hour pack with either of these cells, but we can get close. With the 26F cells, we can use 4 in parallel, and that'll get us 10.4 amp hours, where 2.6 amp hours times 4 cells equals 10.4 amp hours. That's pretty close to the 10 amp hours in the original question. For the PF cells, it's a little bit trickier. 3 cells in parallel would give us 8.7 amp hours. 4 cells in parallel would give us 11.6 amp hours. 3 cells is slightly closer to the 10 amp hours we're looking for, but let's actually go with 4 cells for the sake of comparison between the two, so both batteries have the same number of cells. Now to get the 48 volts that Ishmael wanted, we'll need 13 of these groups in series, as 13 cell groups times 3.7 volts per group gives us 48.1 volts. So now we've got our two approximately 48 volt 10 amp hour batteries. Now let's look at current. Ishmael plans to use the battery on an electric bicycle with a 26 amp controller. If we look at the 26F cell, we can calculate its maximum continuous current ability by multiplying the maximum continuous current ability of each cell, which is 5 amps, by the number of cells in parallel, which is 4 cells. Uh oh, that gives us only 20 amps, which is less than the current that our controller will draw, 26 amps. If we try to use this setup while climbing a hill, or otherwise using full power for an extended time, this could very well overheat our batteries. Not good. But let's look at our PF pack. These cells are rated for 10 amp hours each, giving us a maximum continuous current rating for the entire pack of 40 amps, which is well over our 26 amp load. That gives us a nice safety factor. So in this example, we've seen that a 26F cell actually won't have enough power for a 48 volt 10 amp hour battery configuration for the load we wanted it to power, the 26 amps. The PF cell pack, however, will definitely be able to provide enough power, though at a somewhat higher cost. And that is how you compare different battery cells to stack up against each other, depending on the type of pack you want to use. Because no cell is ever better than another cell, it's not that the PF cell is better than the 26F cell, it's just that it's more appropriate in this case. Sometimes the Samsung 26F cell is actually going to be more appropriate. Those are usually in cases where it's a lower power situation or you're trying to save cost. So this is how you compare battery cells and you can use this for any type of battery cell you're working with. Thank you, Ishmael, for the question. I hope that answered it. Uh, remember, send me a private message here on YouTube with your contact info, and I will send you a free copy of either my book, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or my most recent book, Do-It-Yourself Lithium Batteries, How to Build Your Own Battery Pack. Both of these are available on Amazon. Uh, and everybody else, remember, if you ask me a question in the comments, I'll do my best to answer it, and then if I make a video response like this one for your question, I'll send you a free copy of my book as well. As always, Thanks for watching. Please remember if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can always hit the red subscribe button and that will help you keep track when I post new videos. Thanks for stopping by.